Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Adventure Extraordinaire. My name's Twitchy, and this is my tremendous Trojan, a rock packed with duplicates, which we have been slowly morphing into a world that we want to live in and inhabit. The quality of life number three upgrade has dropped this week, and I need to go through and set up everybody's skills. I'm going through basically following the same plan that everybody followed beforehand, apart from Mad Frank, who used to be a uh, research and an operator but now I'm making him a research and a supplier because I want to make him my astronaut and it turns out that is the thing that needs to happen. Everybody else is kind of sticking with the same jobs. Uh, Zed and Subs and Brum are all being like build and dig masters. Shadow's a farmer. Three is the chef. Uh, Tommy and Ruby are our plumbers and janitors. Um, Frank is the, the astronaut as I've said. Uh, so we, you can basically follow through what is going on there. Wise is our highest uh, electrical engineer operator. One thing that I did forget to do and it, it grieved me greatly by the time I had actually finished everything and figured it out uh, I didn't put a doctor in there nobody's got any care skills people still do have priorities for the care so if people need to go and get um, like fixed up afterwards non-trained people will come along and fix them and that's fine so it turns out that as well as assigning the skill points that gives them access to hats and the hats actually give them some sort of like attributes most of them are extra carrying capacity which to me sounds like a great idea we should definitely be giving as many of our guys extra carrying capacity as possible but there's other things like the electrical engineer and the chef hat which makes the food better the farmer's hat makes the farm grow quicker or something like that i can't remember exactly what it was but it's all little things are like this and of course everybody needs to come to the workstation to change their hat so in essence it works a lot like the original job system uh just a little bit more i don't know a little bit more expansive open and uh ready for interpretation playing with i'm not sure about exploitation if it's better for exploitation or not but what we're trying to do today is try and get this mushroom farm a full of carbon dioxide you might remember that down 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 below we have various processes that are making carbon dioxide and we are uh, pumping that straight back up here uh, for, for our use. We also need to continue our expansion upwards and across trying to open everything out But the main thing that we are going to be doing today is try and move uh, the Move the kitchen so that we can build uh, the great hall Of course all the duplicates are very excited for this and another three and Tommy are actually putting on a little bit of a cabaret act So that when we can uh, get the whole hall together that we can have a little bit of entertainment as well And that's gonna be great, but nighttime drops down I've noticed that we've got ourselves a little bit of an issue here The RS nor latch didn't quite trigger in the right way. This is probably because I was playing with it at the end of last episode and it totally didn't work. But I'm now going to spend some time just making sure that my logic is correct because it broke once, so I'm going to have to watch through make sure it doesn't break again. But actually, if by the end of it, I've convinced myself that, yeah, I have actually set this up in the correct manner, which is good. It would be uh, a little bit disappointing to find out that actually an RS Norlatch was not what I wanted. I wanted like a, a two-state flip-flop or something like that uh, but you know they basically do the same job so whatever one thing I am worried about is the fact that this top tank is completely flooded out and uh, the bottom tank is constantly filling so I'm thinking that at some point we're gonna have to uh, widen these tanks out we've actually been fighting this encroaching problem for a little time now and I've been wondering about how we're gonna fix this because as you can see we are quite well contained in this area I was thinking well we could move to the left but there's such a lovely area of just pure uh, chlorine that I felt like we couldn't do that and so I'm looking over to my right, wondering whether we can expand over in that direction. I do see some spots where maybe that might just happen, but we're going to have to try and uh, prepare the area around there before we do anything like that. Talking of preparing the area, we have removed the apothecary table from the kitchen because we got one in the med bay now and there's no need for that. And we're going to put some new part new farm plots up high so we can move the farm plots from above the bedrooms because that's where I want to move the kitchen to eventually. It's going to like uh, give space for the great hall to be built above the actual mess hall there. Uh, we're actually going to combine the two together to create a much larger space. It's going to be wonderful, beautiful and amazing. Uh, but it will also put all, like the farm close to the, to the kitchen and the kitchen close to the, the, the mess hall. It'll all work out pretty well. I've noticed that it's been telling me for a while now that I've been missing some lubricant and I'm not sure why. And it turns out if I go and have a proper proper look it's because that I am not pumping enough water out at any one time so we're gonna have to work on that as well at some point but that is a, a job for another day that what I'm gonna be doing right now is trying to expand out the kitchen space to the right you, you can see that there is a whole bunch of stuff to the right of the kitchen it'd be nice if the great hall formed a nice little cubic sp shape rather than having the little kink in it that it does right now um, but I've been noticing there's a great big of, bit of heat 
forming around the kitchen area. We need to put a wheeze wart down there just to stop that becoming too much of a serious uh, problem. The problem that we have with that, of course, is the fact that we don't actually have any wheeze wart. So that's uh, that's pretty bad. One thing I have noticed is that the oil level is starting to drop down quite low there. So I'm going to start making preparations for turning the other pump on. The pump, the original pump, the pump that started this entire process off. The pump that when we dug the hole to put, put it down there with the oil, ended up releasing all the oil out and uh, making a, a horrific mess of what I'm going to call the Gulf of Mexico from now on down the bottom here. So it seems that Hollywood and Brum seem to be the two people that work down in the heat. I'm fine with that. That's cool. I can definitely live with that. And whilst we're down here, not only am I going to look at all this natural gas and wonder if there's anything I could ever do to deal with that, I'm also going to have a look at this carbon dioxide output and wonder when we've got to start, bob, uh, start being worried about it. Now, of course, I did remove the carbon dioxide vent from inside that area where it's got a nice little carbon scrubber underneath it just so that we could increase the pressure up into the mushroom farm and of course that mushroom farm that's going to over pressure at some point as you can see it's getting pretty close i'm going to put a vent in to release the last of the oxygen out but when that over pressures i would like the other vent to start working maybe we could set up some sort of system there but uh we'll see what's happening uh, i was also going to have a quick look in the skill tree just to see what people were doing it turns out i didn't really have anything uh, in particular to do there but i do realize that we have a few weeds walked down below that are just trapped by geography and we can definitely get down there shrouticus the man himself is going to go around and dig a few holes out and we're going to wait for people to come down and dig that entire wheeze wart area out it's quite dirty down there there's a lot of slime lung but that's uh, something that can be dealt with want to get brought into the base you know that's uh, just something that happens all right things are working all well up at the base here but i've noticed that people are eating a lice loaf not lice loaf meal lice they're not eating the lice loaf because they're eating the meal life so i go and take that off of the menu i also go and try and find any ingredients that we've got and take them off the menu uh, just ordinary mushrooms we don't want those we want people only eating fried mushrooms the bristle berries take those off the list we only want people eating the gristle berries is it called uh, and so we make that so the whole area around on the right hand side you can see i put a, a bypass for the power down there and we are waiting for that to be uh, dealt with um and of course there's that patch of polluted water at the top of the whole base that we've been trying to get rid of for some time now and we are totally choked by the uh, the water sieve. I might actually have to figure out a way of expanding that out into a two sieve system. I'm not sure if that's going to be something that we can uh, do or not. I'm totally looking forward to experimenting with that at some point. But one thing that I've noticed is that everybody's like moving stuff around and there doesn't seem to be a lot of storage containers or anything like that. So I'm going to start putting little personalized storage containers in certain areas. I say personalized, customized, shall we say. Uh, I, I want to put like uh, the, the mushroom container in the mushroom farm, the gristle berries the gristle farm you know it, it just kind of makes sense but out and about we definitely need more minerals going into more areas and i just need some general bins to go around so i'm watching these guys deliver stuff down here and that that's exactly why the bin needs to happen but i also just happened to take a look at the water and i was like you know what that's a lot of water in such a small area there i should probably take care of that at some point but let's go take care of the uh, kitchen first. You can see that the entire farm plots above the bedroom have been cleared out. So I'm going to throw down two grills because I've got two things that want to be grilled and a microbe musher so that we can deal with the lice loaf. Because, you know, lice loaf is just going to be like the constant fallback there. You can see that I am kind of encaging off the area that I want to uh, welcome into the base. But this is going to leave me with an area full of chlorine and that's not great. Who wants to like let all that chlorine into the base? So I'm going to put a whole bunch of uh, the insulated tiles around the outside to be like the, the actual wall, the, uh, the the finished wall. But then I'm going to also fill in the interior space with normal uh, tiles so that we slowly push all the chlorine out and then we can just like rip out the inside wall and it will be, well it will be vacuum in there but all the oxygen from the base will rush out and then it will be a fine so definitely having troubles the moment that that water hits the uh, the hydro sensor on the right hand side uh the polluted water is going to start backing up and this is a much bigger problem than i currently realize it actually is uh i'm going to realize uh, very shortly because the whole time that i'm working on this little area on the right hand side here this expansion area the extension if you will uh, uh it's there it's right on the corner of my eye i can see it i'm like I, I keep looking at it going this is not right uh and very shortly the pressure in there is going to actually trip the water sensor as it like you know tries to fill up a tile and then it floods up one and it goes across and washes across the uh, the hydro sensor and I've got it set up that specifically uh, but here we go this is the moment where I'm like mm, 
that could break. That could definitely break. So I want to start putting in some ladders, start thinking how to share, how to save the uh, the, the system here. Very worried that it's going to break through. The the thing that I am not sure is the strength of a door. I've got a, 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 an airlock. Well, it's not even an airlock. It's just a door on the bottom left there. You can see it. I can see it. Uh, I don't know whether I need to put a second door down. Is a door as strong as a tile? A tile stronger than doors? A door's... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I will probably find out at some point. We should, we should go and run a test at some point to see whether the doors are stronger than a single bit of tile. So we would need like a two wild tile all the way around apart from like the corner. We could even just like simulate that setup and then just have a single layer of tiles versus a, an actual door. Yeah, that, that would be great. That would be great. So there's going to be a lot of back and forth thing as I try and deal with the uh, the water tank down below, but also try and fill up this space so we're not like putting a bunch of chlorine in there. Uh, I also have this constant need for slime now. The farm, the mushroom farm run entirely off of slime for fertilizer and this leads me to a small issue the fact that I've got an algae distiller uh, is a problem so we're gonna have to try and deal with that I might even think about turning the algae distillers off completely uh, question mark it's, it's a maybe not the best plan because then we start running out of algae uh, so I don't know something like that would be great it's time to start clearing out the area for the new water tanks though I need first a new access way up the right hand side and we're gonna build that straight away I think actually I would like to have put it on the left hand side so that the can get to it quicker. You know, we come from the middle and we need to, to like, make sure that people don't commute too far. I mean, what the, 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 the tunnels would have done well. The vacuum tube would have also done well. Though I am having trouble trying to figure out how to move it around the vacuum tube, that is, uh, around my rather compact, organically grown base. Uh, the problem with organically grown bases means you've got walkways everywhere. Nothing seems to be quite li quite laying up. Uh, trying to trying to fit a tunnel through a wall when you've got also like heavy watt wire and stuff like that. Yeah, it's it's a bit of a bit of a travesty. But we are actually at the point where we can rip down that second wall there and uh, open the tank up into what is actually a considerably larger space, and that will work out pretty well but captain subs to actually doing a little bit of a side mission there one of the more important ones that we have in the base because that opens up uh, at least a singular wheeze wart seed down below is that captain subs uh, not sorry uh Shrouticus going for it i think it was uh, and that's going oh well over this side we have a whole nother team are working on this you can see that i'm watching the um the pollutants drop down in the top water tank whilst also at the same time watching the tank run out uh on the bottom one but but we got we got we got an issue here for some reason and the reason that i am not entirely certain of in any way shape or form i don't appear to have the hydro sensor in my build menu i try to like copy it and it just doesn't work it turns out for some reason we have lost the entire medical branch of our research not overly worried at least it gives my uh, my scientist guides a little bit of um, a little bit of experience with the research tree nearly being full up i was worried about how my research people are actually going to gain more skills and like expand their skill set especially mad frank who needs to make his way up to like you know space cadet or astronaut or something like that he's not going to be able to do that if he doesn't have like research capabilities or research like expansive technology some ways of earning more skill points so uh, thankfully with the loss of some random technology for no apparent reason and it means that we get to give uh, Mad Frank a whole bunch of new skills. That's great. One thing I am noticing is people just keep on climbing up and down past that tube there. i uh, not impressed. Not impressed at all. One other thing I'm not impressed with is the fact that Sir Steve keeps usurping Mad Frank's uh, research jobs. Uh, that was literally just a uh, misclick on the priorities. For some reason, Mad Frank was only a single, um, single arrow upwards. I don't know where a single level of high priority, double level of high priority. I'm not sure how to word that because you get one arrow, two arrows. Is like a medium priority a medium high priority i don't know i don't know but watching people go around and dig stuff out well not dig stuff out pick out pick stuff out of those holes is always a very interesting i'm like why why are you even going that way what are we so limited of that you can't get through there and finally we have opened up the new space in the base on the right hand side so we can get get a nice big area going i'm currently looking around at the moment wondering where we can get some power from and there appears to be just a, a little sort of closed loop there working on the uh the the airlock that I never use, in fact, because we've got the Atmo suits uh, set up 
on uh, specific airlocks. We end up having these few airlocks that never get used, and one of them had a power system that we just leech off of for the uh, for the for the kitchen here. I might even end up taking away that airlock and using it as extra med bay space because you know we we, we could do with a few new things. Uh, there was now though the med med cots are now known as triage cots, which are kind of like your entry level med bay stuff. And we also now have sick bay beds, which I'm uh, hoping someone will uh, rip down the old triage bed so we can put that in there. Uh, those guys were working on their cabaret, well, not quite as synchronized as another three and Tommy were. Uh, I, I, I was so amazed at how well those guys were syncing up with their little dance routine. Uh, I, I hope that there will be a way of inducing that at some point. But we are at problem point here. We actually have ourselves a, a water tank that was full, and unfortunately, that means that all our toilets were backed up. Uh, now we have solved that, but people it was just just a little bit too late because as you can see we we have urine all over the base it's it's horrible it's not what i want i i really so many people are making a mess and we just need to wait for the sieve to process the water through now uh, i'm not sure whether i'm bothered about it being in the mushroom farm or not i don't know whether that that is a problem or not uh, but as you can see things are getting worked through i'm even going to break a few of those pipes that don't seem to do anything anymore i've got a few uh few of those going throughout this time um that where i just find like a little bit of wire off and I'm just like, well, we're going to snip that off. Uh, so now that we've got the germ sensor, I want to go through and I want to change the automation on uh, this little this little beast up here, the cold water tank. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like we might get some germs in there at some point. Thing things happen, right? Things just happen. So I would like to set up a germ sensor on those water tank water pumps as well, just for an extra layer of insurance. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a temperature probe and we're going to have a, a, a germ probe. And they're going to go into an AND loop, an AND gate, sorry and they're going to when both trigger pump turn on the pumps it'll be great it'll be wonderful it'll be amazing people have almost got the reinforcement of the water tank going pretty well there and i'm worried about the fact that we're now running out of water in the cold tank uh, we're gonna have to start pumping more water soon but that's that's pretty good because the water in the top hot water tank is ready to go as well Cool. Yeah. Okay, so down here, I'm noticing that there is an awful lot of slime lung just around, and I would like to try and put down uh, some deodorizers to clear the oxygen so that we can turn it into, like, nicer stuff. So that happens pretty well. I'm not sure whether that slime lung is going to be, like, being moved anywhere. Perhaps it's going to go to the mushroom farm. That's one of the places where some of the gas is being pumped to from there, so that's a thing to watch out for. Okay, so all the stations in the, in the kitchen are just set to one ingredient set forever. Uh, obviously, our duplicates should not be eating any of the ingredients, and the ingredients should be turned into food pretty quickly. And we're not—we haven't got any like uh, conflicting recipes. We don't need to like put the bristle berry in two two recipes. So we're just gonna pump them through as quick as possible. And now begins the point where my duplicates start collecting skill points. I don't know what it was that uh, that was the tipping point, or what what it was that needed to be earned, or whatever. Um, but suddenly, out of nowhere, at starting now, duplicates. We'll just start earning more and more and more skill points at quite an alarming rate for someone who has just come into this uh, just come into this update this day. An unexpected but very welcome side effect from putting the reinforcement in means that we can get those uh, two wheeze warts on the other side of the, cold, of the hot water tank. Cold water tank? The, the geyser tank, I suppose, would be the way to call that. With all the automation going in, I'm starting to feel pretty good about the uh, integrity of our cold water tank and sat here in the editing process. I'm wondering whether my subconscious was actually speaking to me and saying, hey, Twitchy, you should send the, uh, the bad water from the slime distillers into the cold tank because that's what kills slime lung is cold not heat so may maybe i'm gonna make that happen at some point that that will definitely be uh, one on the list of jobs for a later later episode not this one because obviously i've just thought about it in the edit okay so i'm looking here about where i could take little pipes off of this pipe network but i immediately am struck with the well how do i get it through these walls scenario uh, now that i'm spending a little bit of time afterwards i'm looking at the uh, the door that goes out to the water tank i'm thinking maybe i could squeeze it around there but what I'm actually going to go do is uh, put a um, 
take out the top door to the Gulf of Mexico, as I just named it, uh, and send the pipe through that way. So that would be pretty nice. I'd also like to uh, extend movability to the right-hand side of the base, but I'm thinking I'm going to need a separate transport network there because I don't want the atmospheric suits getting swapped over. Oh, I don't mind if they get swapped over, but that's not how it's going to end up being. They're all going to end up piling up in one spot rather than another, right? That's pretty much how these things go down. All right, so it's time for the final destruction of the kitchen. I have told it that I'm happy with everything being ripped out from the inside there. Uh, and we're going to just let that play out. Another thing that I'm going to do is put down all the last of the pots of our little cold... I'm going to call it a fridge. The fridge unit at the bottom. It's like it's an inverse oven, right? I've made a, an area cold down below so that it will pull out all the heat from above. Is, is that a thing that happens? I don't, I'm not entirely certain, but I'm going to call it the fridge unit, the refrigeration unit. We're getting very close to this water being pumped over, and I'm actually starting to think maybe we want to set that particular um, germ detector to a slightly higher value, because as I say, the... Um, the slime lung is killed by cold, so that might be a better way of doing this. So I've been staring at this chlorine for a long, long time now. I'm going like, what can I do with hot chlorine? It's not hot chlorine, it's warm chlorine. Chlorine at about 40 degrees C. Well, it turns out balm lily wants to exist in chlorine over 35 degrees centigrade. I think that is beautiful. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make a balm lily uh, farm on this side. You can see that I did a little test to make sure that I could put buildings on top of the automation that works in the background there. And yes, we can. Uh, and now I'm thinking, hmm, polluted water lets, gets rid of um, polluted oxygen, right? And then if you have puffs and polluted oxygen, you get a slime farm. I might be able to set up some sort of slime farm on the uh, left-hand side with that polluted oxygen there. That's definitely going to be uh, something that we look for again in the future because right now we are working on the great hall and new kitchen setup to take advantage of the beautiful new ingredients that we made uh, last time. So I'm looking at the area there and I'm like, well, what sort of area can we make for a farm? Now to make a, a big greenhouse, the largest space you can use is 96 and my farm is 11 wide, which means we can only go for eight floors uh, because if well, obviously if we went for nine, that would be 99 floors, uh, 99 tiles. It's a little bit big. Uh, though, while I was thinking about that, actually, probably the farm tiles would take up less space than that. Uh, I'm also doing the same calculations for the Great Hall here, trying to work out what spacing is good and what spacing is bad. And I do come to the same conclusion that, hey, this is a little bit too large, but wait, the... the floor is taking up uh, space so that will be fine as well right yeah yeah that that should all work out okay so with all that planning in place it's time to make these a real we're going to start off by clearing out the area as best we can you can see that we lose uh any way of digging up that bleach stone there but you know that that's fine uh the building the farm station i decided to move to the top left as you can see because this is the way that my duplicate is going to be walking in in fact it's shadow this is the way that shadow is going to be walking into the farm area uh, definitely going to be coming in from that area so I want them to get to the, 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 the station first before they go to the farm plot so they're not like back and forthing the whole time okay so my bypass turns out I need a bypass for because I want to try and like enclose it enclose that uh, farm in a room uh, and we're not going to be able to do that with the uh, heavy watt wire coming in through the corner like that so I, I put down a, uh, a, a plate I can't remember what it's called the join plate or whatever they're called from over there and make the actual solid bypass um, around waiting for for them to put the for the duplicates to put the uh, the wire in before I break it because that wire controls quite a quite a large part of my important bits of my base. Now this should not be the case. What I should actually do is have a loop of heavy watt wire so that we're not reliant on such things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll do that. You can see that we've got the uh, transformers down below. Maybe I can put another uh, join or through plate on that and, and go through. And there, there will be a way. There will be a, a way. But the curse of my life has come around. It is night time and I want my duplicates to put that bypass in. What's going on there? I mean, it's great that you've been putting in the walls. I'm really enjoying that. And we're going to put an espresso machine in there because the Great Hall, it requires a recreational item. And I thought, you know, it, it, it's the Great Hall. Why would they not be uh, drinking espresso? Uh, maybe we could have put them something a little bit fancy, a little bit nicer. But we're going to put in um, some carpet tiles. We're going to put in plastic ladders. We're going to make this just the nicest place we possibly can because the because they're going to come here every day. It's going to be one of their major boosts for morale. Uh, the other thinking on this is also bedrooms as well, but, you know, we, we will deal with that. Okay, the uh, bypass is in place. It's time to take out all those wires, and hopefully people come along and do it well. But 
one thing I'm noticing is that people keep choking on the uh, on the chlorine on the way out there. It's not great. It's not wonderful. We need to do something about that. Also, turns out the espresso machine needs a water input. It's not a problem. Uh, it was a little bit of a problem. The water wasn't quite coming from where I was hoping it would. But, uh, you know, with the water bridges being what they are, we totally uh, sorted that out almost instantly. It was beautiful. It was uh, wonderful. So one of the things that I'm noticing here is the chlorine's not hot enough. I know, right? Crazy. How, how is this a thing that the chlorine's not hot enough? But even with that, we still need to protect our duplicates uh, because eventually the chlorine will be hot enough. But not, not just that. It's chlorine, guys. We need to protect our duplicates. So I'm going to set up a little bit of uh, an Atmo suit uh, station on the top right there. You can see that's all getting put into place right now, and it is beautiful. Of course, the duplicate protection isn't actually my primary motivation here. The, my primary motivation is when they walk into the chlorine, they breathe out occasionally, letting loose some carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide drifts across the balm lilies, and they go, ah, this is not chlorine. So that's why I put the atmosphere suits there. During all this time, I picked up a whole buttload of skill points for people. The only thing that we really need to take note of is that I made Ruby a care assistant. Uh, everybody else kind of just leveled up the points that they're already on. Wise went even further down the electrical engineer route. Uh, Zed became an even better digger slash builder. Oh no, I gave Zed some art fundamentals. I remember because as much as I've made Landstrider my uh, my primary art dude, which was actually used to be Brom, but that got changed, whatever. Um, uh, Zed Tech actually has a higher creativity score than almost anybody. So I thought, yeah, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna like leverage that. We're gonna take advantage if we can. We're gonna make Zed do all the all the wonderful nice things so we can get some higher level uh, decor stuff and that's gonna be uh, beautiful. So the top hot water tank has started pumping. It's uh, beautiful, it's uh, wonderful, it's moving all the stuff that we need to. And um, with the fact that I've only got like one vent coming out, I, I decided, that, uh, sorry, that I've only got one pump going in and we can only out let from one vent at a time because like the bottom vent isn't needed uh, and everything seems to be working well now I keep trying to sort out what is missing from this great hall and it turns out that I was missing a decor item that had over uh, 50 points of decor on its own it wasn't the fact that I needed a cumulative over 50 because this great hall has something like 120 uh, it needed a single point uh, a single item of over 50 and thankfully the metal sculpture just happens to cover that so before it's even been made this is class as a proper great hall and it is i've got to say proper great okay so we've got carpet on the floor we've got plastic ladders we've spoken about these things it is well wonderful uh, i'm looking around seeing what uh, what other ways to make this even better uh, exist unfortunately all i really find are landscape paintings portrait paintings uh, i have a look at the paintings down below and i, I kind of feel like they, they they need to be changed i mean like have a look they're they're all quaint and stuff like that and that that's a thing that that needs to be a little bit changed with there i went through the priorities just to make sure that the people that could are are arting uh, and yes indeed that is going on it's taking them a little bit of time to get to the jobs that i want them to i assume that they're just out working on things like uh, life support and stuff like that I was also taking a moment to look at like the toilets to see if there was a way that I could improve those at all. Turns out, no, uh, I've already got the highest possible toilets. Uh, there is a latrine, uh, um, and that is the lower level toilets, but I have got the, work the wash station at the moment. So that that's pretty cool. That's working out well for us. Okay, night time comes down again, and it's time to start thinking about how to improve the temperature of the chlorine. This is going to be the last thing we do. In fact, I was running out of time at this point, but I wanted to put down uh, a little bit of a a reminder to myself about what we were doing so i went ahead and blocked in the entire process seemed to work out quite well for us uh, what i'm planning to do is pump out the chlorine when it gets to below a certain temperature run it through the hydrogen slash oven area down below there and turn it into hotter chlorine we can power it obviously with the wonders of the heavy watt wire and setting everyone on a priority nine i mean I don't see how anything's going to go wrong with that. One thing that we do have a little bit of a problem with is the fact that the oven is inaccessible at the moment. Uh, just a little bit of a side effect from the way that we put the new new access way in on the right hand side there's nothing really to worry about though it is uh, giving me pause to thought about whether I actually want the oven to be as wide as the entire entire water tank. I think I might actually want to do that. I don't know why I didn't think about that 
um, before now. Uh, but I, I was deep within the, the game. It's sometimes it's very hard to see the full extent of what you're doing when you are right in the middle of it. The normal waiting time for the duplicates to come along and make these buildings happen is incredibly exasperated by the fact that I've actually only got one atmosphere on the atmospheric suit check up or going into the Barn Lily area. And the fact that uh, Mad Frank is coming along, sorry, that might even be Tommy, my bad, is coming along to disinfect in a chlorine area has made that even worse. But thankfully, people are going to come along and do the right jobs. Brum is uh, are coming along. Is that Brum? Is that Mad Frank? Is that Captain Subs? I'm not sure exactly who that is, but he's making the deliveries and we are waiting for the builds to happen. I can keep seeing that the uh, the builds become unavailable and available again. This is just where the uh, atmospheric suit is regassing after its single use. And the uh, bottom water tank is actually finally got to the point where it is so full that every time more water comes in, it trips off the hydro sensor. Meaning that maybe I actually want to move the hydro sensor above the pump, like the uh, above the valve, like the other one is. But that also has a habit of like overfilling. So I'm not sure. But with that, I'm going to say Thank you very much for for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time when we're going to work on the cold water supply. We're going to push our way up and hopefully we're going to start our way to rocket science. But I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!